Hi, this is Ben Powell from MusicRadar.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play Muse's Time Is Running Out. First of all, I'll play the entire song and then I'll break it up into sections showing you exactly how to do it. Section one of the song, you start on the bell of the hi-hat and then close it. And then basically it's just a simple rock beat. Make sure that when you're hitting the hi-hat to hit it near the bell of the cymbal so you get that nice crisp clean sound. If you hit it near the edge, it sounds a bit more washy, which is what you don't want. Um, and also, when you open your hi-hat, make sure that you get the bell of the cymbal so it sounds a bit crisper. And 
and then you finish that with the crash and the snare drum together. For section two, basically it's just a drum build-up. You're using your snare drum, your floor tom, and your bass drum. Make sure you start really, 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 really softly and then build your way up. At the end of that, you do a six note roll on the snare drum. The next part of the song is the chorus, which basically is just a beat dum dum da da dum dum da ba on the crash cymbal. To do that, you're basically just doing and you're playing uh, quarter notes on the crash cymbal. You're not doing this. It's on the half beat. Right, next section, section four, is the intro tom beat before you do the ribbon crash section, which is. Again. Section five is when ideally you need a ribbon crasher. Muse's drummer Dom um, is renowned for having this in his drum kit. Everyone, everyone asks me in my videos, what is that metal thing? Basically it's just four sheets of metal. And it sort of sounds a cross between a trashy hi-hat and a tambourine. It's really, really good. Uh, for this section, basically you're doing this. You're doing this beat. But Don will play the floor tom to exaggerate the beat. And what you're doing in that beat is you're moving your right hand down to the floor tom and playing a double stroke. Whilst your left hand is playing a single stroke. The next part of the song is ultimately the best. It's the tom fill. It's a pretty easy fill. I've seen many people do it, but have done it wrong. The way you do it is you play your bass drum and floor tom together for, for, for the first beat. For the second beat, you use your left hand on the top tom. Third beat, you play the floor tom by itself. And then it's the kick drum and the snare drum. That's the first half of the beat. Then for the second half, you play your right, left on the top tom, one, two and then you play three on the floor tom. Then it's bass drum snare, hi-hat. So all together, it should sound like this.
Then after that, you come in with the little cheeky drum beat, which goes like this. You then go back into the chorus. You then go to the second half of the chorus, which is the ooh yeah section. You basically play solid beats on your bass drum, like this. You then come out of that with the nice little fill, which is. You then come back into the intro beat, but this time, rather than playing it really tightly, play it a bit more loose. So rather than doing on your hi-hat, bring it towards the edge. And then you go back into the Tom Phil beats, which we discussed earlier, which remember was. And then you do. And the second little fill is a slight difference. At the end, he does a drum roll. And then he does the ooh yeah baby again, which is basically the same as the first time round. Uh, the outro goes like this. So that concludes the tutorial. I'm Ben Powell and that was for musicradar.com. Please feel free to check out my YouTube channel. Search for Ben Powell Ford Lars. Thank you very much.